First you have to determine what driver version you have. There are more manufacturers versions but they all have only two configurations. The first is SPI mode and the second configuration is standalone mode. The best way to set the motor current is by measuring the voltage on the VREF pin and adjusting the voltage with the potentiometer. When configuring SPI mode, the potentiometer no longer has any role because the current adjustment is made of software. So in this video we will set the current limit for standalone mode. We will supply with minus GND pin and plus VM pin with a voltage covered between 5.5 and 46 volts. We bring a multimeter and set it in the field of measurement of DC current voltage. To adjust the potentiometer we use a ceramic screwdriver to avoid possible short circuits. The minus probe of the multimeter is also connected to the GND pin. We start the power supply. We place the plus multimeter probe at the versus ref pin of the driver and measure the voltage in this case 1.42 volts. To reduce the voltage, we rotate the potentiometer in the anti-clock sense. To increase the voltage we rotate the potentiometer clockwise. The maximum reachable voltage is 2.25 volts. To know the value of the voltage necessary for the current that we want to set we use the formula the wanted current increased by 0.71 multiplied by 2. In my case I want a current of an ampere. So amplify an ampere with 0.71 and then multiple with 2. The result is the voltage of 1.41 volts which must be adjusted to pin V ref. Be careful some manufacturers put the potentiometer on the bottom of the driver and other manufacturers on the top. For drivers with potentiometer mounted up, the voltage adjustment is reverse. Decreases clockwise and increases anti-clockwise. Do not connect the motor when adjusting the voltage at pin V ref, otherwise it is easy to burn the driver. <laughs> 